ORMS has also served in areas of the health field. Like here, where its benefits may ultimately reach half the population of the nation. Despite increased public awareness and the efforts of medical researchers, breast cancer remains one of the most prevalent and most deadly forms of the disease. This year alone, approximately 180,000 new cases of breast cancer will be diagnosed in the U.S., and 44,000 women will die from the disease. Most doctors and scientists agree that early detection is one way a woman can improve her chances of survival. Likewise, for women who've undergone surgery to remove the cancer, survival depends on accurately predicting its possible recurrence. And that's where OR comes in. Research at the University of Wisconsin using OR linear programming methods has led to computer-based software which can improve the accuracy of breast cancer diagnosis and prognosis. Dr. William Wahlberg, a surgeon at University's Medical Center, teamed up with Professor Olvi Mangasarian of the University's Computer Sciences Department. Together with Professor Nick Street, they developed a program called Excite. The idea behind Excite is to provide a reliable, low-cost way of analyzing cell specimens to determine whether they are benign or malignant. Currently in the experimental stage, this process promises to be an alternative to more expensive and invasive surgery. This is a wonderful diagnostic tool. The majority of breast cancer in this country is diagnosed by cutting the tumor out and by doing sections that you look at under the microscope. So one of our very high priority items is to adapt Excite to read such sections. The process begins with a diagnostic procedure known as fine needle aspiration. This is where a physician draws a tissue sample from a breast lump or mass that has been detected by either self-examination or mammography. This tissue sample is then transferred to a slide and converted to a digital image. Using the specially designed graphical program, doctors inspect the cellular image to determine whether it's malignant or benign. This analysis focuses on 10 key features in the cell nucleus and takes all of two to five minutes. In some cases, where visual diagnosis is borderline, the program also estimates the probability a specimen is malignant. Professor Street developed the Excite software based on OR linear programming models. To start with, he taught the computer to visually diagnose based on slide records that Dr. Wahlberg had. Then he had to develop it so the software could analyze new specimens correctly. When we first developed this classifier, we predicted, uh, using a technique called cross-validation, we predicted that it would be right, the diagnostic system would be correct 97.5% uh, of the time. The current actual accuracy on patients that come in the door is 97.9. To date, Excite's results prove it's as reliable as any procedure short of surgery. And yet, it's far less drastic than the surgical biopsy method. In addition to its accuracy, what's most important may be its speed. This is an outpatient procedure. The results are available in 15 or 20 minutes. So it's really very, very expedient. Additionally, in order to do the biopsy, the patient doesn't have to go to the operating room. You need to give it some time. For women who've had the cancer removed, there is always the concern that cancer may recur. At present, one of the major ways to assess whether a patient is at increased risk for recurrence is to examine lymph nodes at the time of surgery. Lymph node sampling can reveal whether the cancer has already spread and the need for more aggressive treatment to prevent its recurrence. The EXCITE program is also able to work here by estimating the time of recurrence for those women diagnosed with the disease in order to help them decide on a course of treatment. Furthermore, the program can estimate the patient's probability of disease-free survival. That's a big tangible benefit for people's peace of mind. We're giving them more information. It's one of the great things about Dr. Wolberg. He appreciates that and he's interested in getting more information to his patients so that when they're deciding, yes, I want this biopsy, yes, I want uh, to go ahead and have the surgery, um, they know as much as they can possibly know about it in order to make that decision. 
While the cure for breast cancer still eludes us, OR-based research is helping make great strides in developing procedures that will aid in its early detection and hopefully save lives. You know, we began this program by asking you about some seemingly unrelated things and the connections between them. Well, now you see what's connecting them and what may be relevant to your own experience, your own daily life. Operations research and management science is a lot more than a complex name for a scientific area of expertise. What it is, is a vital and dynamic kind of science that gives us the opportunity to make better decisions by understanding what's at the core of some complex situations. It also gives us the tools to perform more efficiently, a way to operate successfully in an often confusing world of people and machines and procedures. So, the next time you find yourself in one of these, you'll see there's a lot more to align than meets the eye.